Hmm. We'll see what SAG go to. Ban the like and ban the TA. And that TA, as much as it recovered, didn't end up being enough there for the side of SAG in the first game. I mean, I think it's more like the Chen is the issue. Uh, I feel like Chen is really, really strong if the team understands how to draft around it and how to utilize it. Very strong laner. Has a, a ton of, like, uh, region. It gives you a lot of tower damage. Like, which support has so much tower, uh, so much ability to have tower damage? It's like very few. The Shaman that we discussed a little bit, like, two days ago, it's really difficult to pick the hero because you don't know where to fit him. So Chen is like an amazing support that gives you a lot. The only thing that he's lacking is the catch, which you have to make up with the other picks. Radiant team. Shadow Demon Dazzle, are they what, the double save? So what, they're going for the Huskar now? <laughs> Unfortunately for them, the Huskar is banned, but they go into the Phantom Lancer for God King. So the reason they picked the Dazzle is to nullify the Centaur's laning phase. Is that the reason? Because you, you can do the Poison Touch and out-harass him. But because they picked the Oracle next, it, it's like... I'm make me, making me think that the Oracle is going to lane with the Centaur to prevent the Dazzle harassing the Centaur with the Poison Touch. Because you can dispel it. Well... It's not the worst combination in the world, the Centaur and the Oracle. Yeah. A lot of kill kill potential. Yeah. Similar to, you know, looking at that Rubik, where you've got the Telekinesis, Hope Stomp, Pop the Retaliate, trying to move in. But now they've got the Rubik, so we'll see. Dire team back. We'll see if that's in fact so then, the direction they, they go. To finish it off with like some push. Ooh, actually, Lash Rack call could, uh, could be nice here. Lash Rack. You just play around the Shadow Fiend and just try to push again. It's like similar game plan to the last. You have a save. You have a pretty decent five man liner with Shadow Fiend hitting a tower and a Centaur as a tank. Five I could see Lash Rack remaining. working for that matter. It's a bit gimmicky, but I can see it working. So it doesn't end up being the safe lane dazzle that I thought it might be. Just because we've seen newbie go for it twice already. I mean, you are a fan of all those unorthodox style. I wouldn't so say I'm a fan. You must be a big fan of wings, you know? You must be a big fan of wings. I mean, that was a fun time to watch. That's for sure. I certainly didn't mind watching that team play. I'll tell you, it's not fun playing against them. <laughs> 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 Only fun for the spectators. Team pick. Hmm. Aha! I haven't seen that hero in, in, in this league so far. I think it's my first time seeing the hero. It's pretty good against PL. Not sure if you want to build battle for you, but I've seen battle for you work on Reiki. It's a very deadly lane with our Oracle, Reiki Oracle. A lot of kill kill potential. If he's laning with the Oracle, which I'm not entirely sure yet, but probably. It's Rubik Center is like the classic lane. Yeah, Rubik Center is the the usual thought I have when I see Centaur get picked up. So what is the last pick here? To to lane against the Shadow Fiend, to counter the lane. I mean, PL is going to be the win condition already, so they need a, like a supporting core that can make space for him. Would Ember even be worth it here? But the lane is going to be very hard though, Ember against Shadow Fiend. I mean, mm -hmm. Ember definitely fits the build as a supporting core. Kanka, I think Kong, but Kanka also loses the lane. I mean, against Shadow Fiend. Storm, hmm. uh, Storm does better in the lane, but you still 
have a hard time when the Shadow Fiend hits. Uh, I think level 5 is the most difficult time for the Storm. To level 6, but the Shadow Fiend hits a very strong timing when his level becomes very, very hard for you to sit and, you know, last hit and trade. So looking at the lanes, Shadow Demon, uh, Shadow Demon, PL, Pangor, Dazzle. So they have a very strong off lane, a decent safe lane, and let's compare it to Dire, Rubik, Centaur, like PL, Shadow Demon. Rubik, Centaur should win, and bottom is Oracle, Ricky. Oracle, Oracle Ricky will beat uh, Pangor, Dazzle, I think, because you can always remove the poison touch. So that's what I I feel would happen. So the side lanes would go to Ocean and the mid Shadow Fiend against Storm. Shadow Fiend will win the lane. He has like a slight advantage. So I think Ocean will come out on top across all three lanes, resulting in a quick win. Win lane, win Dota. That's what we've been seeing is a lot of the, just the laning phases really transition well into the mid and late game. But we've seen some comebacks. I feel like the, the obviously that's Red. always the case. The good laning phases that lead to good mid games. But right now, I don't know. It, it seems like it's even more important right now than it always has been. You, I know people always hate that line. They repeatedly adjust certain stuff like it's harder to you, you think that it's it's harder to close out the game but then oh wait it's actually hard well the key thing for SAG is the storm scheme doesn't get trash in the lane right and he's able to get, get to a decent start with the kaya and he can move around to get he's a perfect hero to deal with uh like the because you can go behind the back get to them go out. He, he's gonna be, need to be careful of the smoke screen so probably gonna need like some other 30 seconds to battle uh We'll see if Ola can have as good of a game as he did in the first game with that life story. Finished it off with a Rampage. Almost got the Rampage plus one, but was taken away by the Pangolier on his team. So uh, we'll set up here with XMY. So is that the NA thing to do? To report someone when he takes your Rampage? Is that your thing or an NA, NA thing? That... That could be an NA thing. I feel like that could be a very <laughs> NA. Took my Rampage. We win the game anyway. You're still reported. Now enjoy low priority. Ooh, sending the Oracle bot and swapping the supports. Yeah, the Oracle should follow the Dazzle wherever he goes. But the Dazzle outsmarted him. He doesn't have Poison Touch on level 1. <laughs> he has heal. And will be the off lane dazzle, not even a support dazzle that I was thinking about. I'm not surprised though. Uh, Pango does work in that four spot as well. All right, SF, can he get the job done yet? Race, race, oh, the bait. He did hit, but he just didn't get the kill. Yeah, he had the one uh, magic stick. Yeah, very smart. He started with a magic stick against Shadow Fiend. Save his life, so... <laughs> Already, Already value. Him. Yeah. <laughs> See, now he's able to do so much better because he survived the hard stage. And the storm he should be okay uh, during this, this next level 3 and level 4 before he reached level 5. So he has to get a... Uh, the most out of this period, you know, this two level. If he's able to get to like the bottle, then he's gonna be able to jungle and just avoid the shadow during the level five stage. Wow, he's even playing aggressive. He's trying to kill him. Spirit. ZC. Wow, he's trying to. No, I'm I'm looking at the duel. 
in mid lane. Yeah, ZC and DD. ZC? Yeah, the Shadow Fiend. <laughs> Why do they have this kind of names? Can't they make it easier? They want us like all to struggle. Z ZC is hard. I feel like that's one that does not roll. <laughs> I was getting mixed up calling of CZ yesterday uh, in the last game too. But there's a Counter Strike thing. What Counter Strike thing? Yeah, What's one of the guns. Uh, CZ. And I kept mixing up the ZC and the Z's and CC. It was. Oh, the tongue twister. Yeah, it was. I did it a couple times. So right now, OP's doing the best. I'm over bottom, 17 and 3. Although, Ricky, 17 and he's 1, keeping up. He's a dazzle against a melee hero. He's supposed to do well. <laughs> he is supposed to do well. Don't give him too much credit. Alright. Alright, I won't give OP too much credit. <laughs> OP's doing alright. He's doing okay. He's like your favorite he's like your favorite player. I I just I missed the tinker days. That's it. It's always on my mind. Forever. Ooh, think about You're going on a red panda. Disruption. They keep the courier back away from Oa. I mean listen to yourself. You like Tinker. You enjoy looking at Tinker. What kind of dollar player likes Tinker? I like watching Tinker not playing or being against the Tinker. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you like being with the Tinker. It depends. Tinker players who think they could do it all. Like everyone's also doing the casualing on region and the carries. I thought this is just going to be the support of main thing. Like even the carries are doing it. It's just so much value. Buy the ring or lose MMR. I remember seeing a post somewhere. Was it like Twitter or someone saying, No ring, no MMR. <laughs> Buy ring. Buy ring of region. Buy headdress. Buy ring of Tarask. Basilus is feeling left out. Sorry. Shadow poison really is starting it? to disrupt a little bit. It's okay. Bounty. Runes, go pick up the runes. Ooh, or oh, telekinesis. Yeah. Disruption. Does he have another pick blink strike? He runes. does. Centaur, bottom, TZY, taking a lot of damage. That poison touch. Oh. Really difficult to deal with. It's gonna be two apiece on bounty runes. And what's next, my friend? Uh the catapult wave. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Ingraded in my oh, mind, no <laughs> which means the supports are coming mid. I'm getting the trends. Well, Raiden is not getting the... Uh, okay, he's maybe getting it, coming late. <laughs> the Pangolier. See, this, this is the hard time. Level 5 of Shadow Fiend is level 5 storm. Bully him. If you don't bully him now, you're not gonna get to bully him anymore. Rubik dying over towards top. And this is just one nothing turning into a 2000 net worth lead for SAG. Already just like uh, an advantage like that. Wait, I thought Dyer was supposed to be in their lanes. Maybe not. Right now, it seems like all their lanes hey, are wait, struggling. Wait, what? What? Why is the Shadow Fiend 13k? 1, 1,300 net worth. 1.3k net what, What's that? What happened? Is it zero deaths? Is that a bug? He shouldn't be at this point. I'm. Huh? What? Hello? Does he have stuff on the courier we don't know about? There's no way he has 33 last hits. That's a bug. There's no way this is a 2k lead. Did he ship out uh, too much regen where he just ends up behind? No, did, uh, did, did an item get killed? It must have been, right? What, what is this? Can I re uh, request a replay? I don't... Nah, he can't do it live, this, but... This, this is not right. This is not right. Even the NMF can tell this is not right. 
Yeah, it, it feels weird. It, it, I've seen it with a losing lane, but the Shadow Fiend wasn't doing bad in the lane. Come on, look at the last hit. The Storm has 32 last hit, and half of it is jungle. And the SF has 37 last hit, and he's lower net worth than Storm. That, that is not making up sense. Okay. This is going to be a mystery until the game is over. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Hmm. No idea what he did. I wish we had seen it. I think somebody they must have killed this item or something. There's some. Oh, something must have happened. It has to be. He's too far behind. But the question is, what item would have been destroyed? Would it be? Could it be enough for it to be a singular wraith band that he might have dropped? Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Wait for me. It's another one of those. Oh, what? I can't even watch it again to check. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> At least I tried. Just to watch the uh, so, the delay on yeah, Dota so TV? Um, yeah, I'm so curious now. What, what, what actually happened? His network does not add up. I'm getting a second wind. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Hmm. This game seems to have gotten just that much harder for the Shadow Feet. Although, he's... I say it's gotten that much harder. He's only now 300 gold behind this storm. He's supposed to be 500 or 600 ahead of the storm, brother. Yeah, that feels like a wraith ban to me. Huh? Wraith like, ban? The oh. wraith ban's worth of like gold. A power trait. It feels like a power trait or like at least two wraith bands or something. Like whatever he bought. Hmm. You need to hire a detective to solve the mystery. All right, come back, go forehead. <laughs> Stampede, just to leave off that poison touch, Jesus. And he's got the vanguard. He's got the vanguard, but no boots. Ball lightning, looking over at Fame. ZC, Telekinesis comes out onto the storm. Requiem is there, fears him up, and now they go with the blink strike and get the kill onto the storm. They keep the Rubik alive too. Come back, go. Is that all part of the plan? So he's low on net worth and he gets more money when he kills someone. <laughs> then he's got to get rid of that money again. Is this this is the Indota money laundering? <laughs> so who is the who is the you know the FBI to catch him? <laughs> Put him in jail. Although so much space made here for God King, he has not been touched. Did someone solve the mystery yet? I don't think so. I'm looking over every now and then to see if somebody solved the mystery. Never mind. I'll, I'll solve the mystery. When the game is all over. Yeah, I'm so curious because it doesn't add up. <laughs> it really doesn't. And it, it just, it, it, it's so... Odd. Yeah, so basically, because of the main setup, they try to. Because uh, SAG is supposed to have like a, a harder time in the side lanes, but they are able to play much better and change the lanes around so the PL was able to farm more at top. And right now, they're in like a comfortable. I mean, the lead, I feel it should be like maybe 1.5k. Maybe it shouldn't be more than 2000. Some, something was wrong. With the Shadow Fiend's network before, whatever it is. 
So the game, I, I, I'm not sure if the players notice like something is wrong, because otherwise your game sense is telling you this is like a fairly even game, not like, like a 3k goal deficit for, for Dyer. I'm seeing that the detectives are saying that maybe Shadow Fiend shipped out too many salves and mangoes. Also, he actually didn't accidentally break anything. I don't think so. But that's a lot of gold to be send spending on salves and mangoes, that's for sure. Well, wow, that's like, it's like so much money to spend. He, he was supposed to be like, what, like five, six hundred, seven hundred. Okay, so that's like, what, seven salves? Or maybe he sent like, uh, like uh, mangoes. <laughs> Double stack. Nicely done by fame. It's triple stack in both these camps. That'll really help out ZC. Be able to clean up those camps very quickly. Put a big chunk into his gold and starting to really pull ahead here on the storm. Eats those mangoes, gets those raises out, and continuing to just farm. But again, it, it's coming down to the fact that they just have not even touched God King. And on top of that, Dazzle too. He's got mech, he's got the Necro 1, he's going into the Guardian Greaves. It's a good feeling game right now for the Dazzle. Ah, oh, you went for mana regen over the damage. Top Stampede. TZY trying to run with three heroes here, ready to make sure that they get the kill. They've got the two-man hoof stomp. Shadow Poison, Slash Buckle, and another stack. Shadow Poison will get the kill there for Red Panda. Uh, God King, smoke screen. Can they keep up with him? They have TP. They have TP on the storm. If Dyer chase too far, the storm is gonna come here. And they don't have the storm with them, but I mean, it could become problematic for the storm once again. Telekinesis into a requiem, get that fear out, and then Ola throws out a smoke screen and kills you. Now I'm thinking whether Dazzle is like a strong hero right now. Cause if you if you think about how the game is being played, if you can do well in the lane and group out and push, that's what Dazzle does. Dazzle is a good, good lane and he does provide a lot of like push with the sustain and also a safe on top of things. You buy aura items on the hero. The hero feels very suitable for the way the game is being played, right? I'm not sure he's best at what position, maybe mid or off lane. I'm not sure about carry. <laughs> I'm sure you like the carry more. I don't know, I feel like he's not as effective in that position. I mean, you can just get damage, right? 60 damage and get an X. Yeah, but I get you. He's like more suitable for like utility, off lane. Yeah, yeah he fits that role a lot better in my opinion. A bot lane, disrupt. Yeah, look at the disruption on TZY, they'll also go into the Rolling Thunder, ball lightning over, Centaur hitting him with the electric vortex, but TZY surviving and now the False Promise comes in, so... Good work now by the Dire, they've got themselves the Requiem and blowing up DD! Wow! And Red Panda, he might have moved in way too far, Shallow Grave is out early. Hola? Trying to leave Swashbuckle through, gets the kill on the TZY. And now they'll look over at the Ricky. The disruption comes in on out onto this Shadow Fiend where they'll get the kill on the ZC. They look for the Ricky, tricks of the trade on the Red Panda, surviving thanks to the mech. And with the sentry down, they get yet another kill. Well, this Dazzle is like an X Spectre in the team fights. Um, I feel like playing the hero right now. Click your buttons, win game. Get Necrobook, get Mag, get Pipe if you need to. I mean, even the level talent, if you are having a really good game, you, you could just take the 60 damage. Otherwise, the 2 mana, I mean, he's having a brilliant game, but he's still taking the mana reach. And you get like, wow, both the level 15 talent is uh, very tempting. Cast range or the heal.
Like basically right now Dyer ha is having a really tough time engaging. Like they don't have anyone that can stand uh, in front right now. Sento is not fat enough. He dies very quickly. Uh, Shadowfin needs his BKB. Um, yeah, the Ricky... Oh, he's going battle fury after Diffuser. Oh. So he's gonna be non-existent -exist in the game for some time. Yeah, it feels like he's not doing too much except for when they're able to get the Requiem out onto the Shadow Fiend. But they look over at the Centaur, they do a lot of damage here to get the kill into TZY. God King taking a bit of damage. They look over for Ola, and now they've got the dust on him. So he needs to be careful. ZC as well. And with that disruption behind the tier 2 tower. He's got the Yule. Swashbuckle comes in. That'll disarm the Shadow Fiend. Ball lightning all the way forward. False Promise is out on the Shadow Fiend to keep him alive as DD came in from quite a distance away. Ricky kills off this Pangolier, and now God King gets the kill on the ZZ. Oh, this game is balling out of control for Dyer. They have to try to wait for the BKB before they take another fight. If they lose one more fight, I think the game is just going to be way too difficult for them. They don't have enough uh, tools to, to fight SAG right now, and they're going to probably get the Aegis on the Storm fairly soon. Um, it's going to be very problematic. But the Riki is going to take a long time to farm because he's going for the battle for it. He's not going to be too useful in the, in the team fights. I'm not even sure if the Santos should finish the pipe though. But I feel like he needs to buy the blink right now. Like the game is just going way too bad for him to buy pipe. Seems like they kind of need that initiation. Yeah, they don't have initiation. Like, don't have enough. Even if Rubik has the Aether Lens, it's not going to be enough. It's going to be a very rough uh, time right now for Dyer. They need to hope that before the Roche happens, they get the BKB plus the blink on the center. Otherwise, there's no chance for them to fight. They're up 8,000 net worth, and it's continuing to just be the Phantom Lancer show. Sitting at about 12,000 net worth, going into the Basher, hasn't been touched, 3 0 and 3. I mean, they left him unchecked for so long over top, and I mean, he's running away with it. Okay, they can't, they can't stop the rush. Hmm. I mean, I don't really see what they can do right now. They're already way past their first initial timing in the Shadow Field. And right now, they have to try to turtle. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to be possible that they need to buy time till they reach their second point of timing, which with the BKB plus Battle Fury, and Ricky needs another item after the Battle Fury. Oh, that's going to be a lot to ask oh, for. Oh boy. I think the game is probably going to be straight up over right now, to be honest. Uh, Shadow finish not even halfway to done to the BGB. Okay, card wave. But he's not in time <laughs> to catch the creep wave. So we'll see if Ocean can hold. This is looking like a big problem for them. They've got the Aegis available on the Storm Spirit. Ocean. We'll try to defend as best they can. TZY taking a lot of damage from Poison Touch thrown forward. The Electric Vortex is there. OP gets the kill though. He used the Rolling Thunder and now Yule's ZC trying to survive. The Rolling Thunder hits. False Promise is there. Requiem charged up but stops. It dove in with the Ricky. Tricks of the Trade comes out as well as the Blink Hoof Stomp hitting onto two of these heroes. Can they follow this up to get these kills? They've got the Requiem out now onto the Phantom Lancer who goes into the Doppelganger to try and leave. Finds an attention on the TZY, ball lightning over, Telekinesis comes through onto the storm, and he ends up losing that first life. TZY still alive. Alright, he's gonna uh, kill all of them right now. Got the Spirit Lance, as well as the ball lightning back forth. DD gets the kill there on a TZY. And Ocean, looking like they're down to their last legs. 
tough, tough fight there. I think they did pretty well initially to hold off the initial uh, aggression, but they just lack a lot of items, you know, on their heroes to be able to pursue. Even though the centaur bought back, you know, to try to go get any any extra kills, but just they're lacking too many things. I mean, there's still hope. Uh, the Ricky, if the Ricky gets more time to finish the battle three plus another item, then he'll be able to deal with the Pia. But that's a big ask for his team. Yeah. Falling, they found the Ricky. He needs to try and leave. Smoke screens out. Blink strike to the rest of his team, but the electric vortex is there. X and Y does not have the false promise to save him, and he'll be cut down into size by God King. So look for XMY balling forward once again from GD. And another kill there on the Oracle. Continuing to shut down this ocean side. Oh, still has the regen. Full man now again the storm. How nice. And now he's going to they're probably gonna run into the field. Oracle is dead, they can just jump in if they see him. Ball lightning forward onto the centaur with the electric vortex locks up the centaur tries to stampede and leave actually successful with it all right shadow phoenix bkb finally pressure bottom they get the tier two Oh, do you see the combo by Shadow King? The Reddit post, you get Abyssal. <laughs> I didn't see that post there, actually. Instant Ooh. kill. You cast Abyssal, so you jump next to the target and he's stunned. And you have just enough time to channel your ulti. <laughs> so it's like a combo. It's uh, the new Yule's combo. It's now the Abyssal better, combo. Dude. It's better. <laughs> Because it goes through BKB. I mean, just the bash. I mean, the, okay, the LD doesn't go through BKB. But... <laughs> Alright, not as good as the use. Kappa. The rich man's use, right? Abyssal Raccoon. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of item you buy if you're way ahead. Uh, you don't believe it? No, I mean, All it's right. not that I don't believe it. It's just... It's all, you know, okay, it's you, the, you me, said it's the rich man, rich man's yules. It's the Gucci yules. You know, it's stuff from Reddit. Ideas from Reddit usually trolls, memes. <laughs> Fame's got ball it. lightning. Able to get a bounty rune. I think it could work. I'd love to see it one time, one of these days. I feel like that's the kind of move OG would pull off. <laughs> oh boy. Ricky trying to get at least a kill, but all out by himself. End up with just him dying. Oh, quickening charm for the desert. Oh my god. Perfect. Like, what's the cooldown now? Four second cooldown on, on Shadow. <laughs> Ricky, he gets level 18. Damn. Level 18, quickening charm, and Octarine Core. Shadow Wave going every second of the day with bad juju. Just continuing to put that armor reduction on. Why are you not excited? You like watching Tinker, but you, you don't like watching Dazzle with built in rearm. <laughs> I'm ready to see the armor drop. He can sustain the team the entire time. I mean, I'm not certain an SAG can really be stopped at this point. Repair kit will only hold them at bay for a little bit longer. What are the odds of getting repair kit? Why are we seeing it so much? <laughs> so technically the what's the math? 15%. From uh, Do you know repair the, kit? The maps of the neutral items. Oh, the odds? No, I actually don't. I'm not sure what the drop percentage is. The items that you need usually comes at the right time. Do you have this uh, feeling about the neutral items? 
I don't know. Earlier today, I, I needed a keen optic. I definitely did not get it. Ball lightning over. Was, well, the electric vortex ZC will try to run. Oh, swashbuckle as well as the ball lightning to get the finish there. Onto the shadow fiend now with Oa getting the kill. Onto the shadow demon. They've got some help from OP God as well as God King. They've got Oa surrounded. Easy kill. Double kill there for the storm spirit. You didn't get your keen optic, but you got the stone. How can you complain? That's true. Like, there's no way you can play about it. The bottom tier 3. Continue to put pressure on. God King now sitting 4 0 and 6. Can they at least get a kill here under the Phantom Lancer? It doesn't look like it. Abyssal Blade as well as the kill there for DD. At some point, Ocean need to. Go for the jump, then another Ricky for 10 seconds. Shadow King not gonna buy back. And they've got the Guardian Greaves coming in from OP. And these are Guardian Greaves with a 21 second cooldown, or 24.8 it says, as he gave up the Quickening Charm. SAG up 18,000 net worth. Got the bottom set of racks. They've got the mid set of racks gone. Ocean looking for a final fight. Something out of desperation with the smoke. Swashbuckle comes in. They look over at Ola. Smoke screen is down. And here they go. They're going to dive all the way into this one with the ball lightning as well as the electric vortex. False promise saves the life for the Shadow Fiend. But they've got the Ibis way down to the Oracle. They'll get the kill there on a one buyback immediately. ZC trying to run for his life as TZY giving up his potentially to save the Shadow Fiend, but it doesn't look like that'll be the case. As he'll just get run down through Heroes Gun with the buyback being popped by Shadow Fiend. So now they'll try to turn this out of mana is DD. But unfortunately, they don't have Telekinesis. First hit bash on his ZC. The chase is on. He's trying to get behind the tier 4 towers. However, with this... Diffusal Blade ready on God King. It's hard for ZC to get away. So they lose Ola and they will call GG. So we're going to a game three again. Two stomps. Uh, this, this game is more about like the laning. I mean, this is not the first time we saw Ocean lose the laning. Quite badly. I mean, there was also a game like what two days ago. Uh, when we were casting, they seem to have the better lineup for the lanes, but they still lost their lanes, like similar in similar fashion. Like they lost two and a half of the lanes, and game is difficult after that. Okay, I'm gonna download the replay to check what the S left. Apparently, somebody said he shipped out like 15 mangoes to himself. What? That's what somebody in chat said. And you believe to be chat? I try not to, but it, it sounded convincing. It was a convincing argument. It just said he bought 15 mangoes, and I was convinced. I was looking for answers. Okay. I guess I have to believe it, if even you believe it. But we'll have to see. If you can, you do the investigative work, we'll give the details in the next game. Game 3 coming up against Ocean and SAG. We'll see that up next. Stay right there. We'll be right back.